So this, this project's been in the planning for probably at least five years. Okay. Uh, there, this whole corridor of, of uh, we call it the New Uri Stream Channel, has had some issues, uh, flooding issues, erosion issues uh, for the past 10 years or so. It's kind of been growing as development's gone on. Uh, the erosion was kind of the, the kicker to get it, get it moving, and then the yard flooding uh, was also an issue. Well, it was a natural creek, but it was catching all the street water and all the house uh, runoffs, gutters, and so forth. And when we get some heavy rains, it would come flowing through here. It'd wash a car through here. It was so fast. We had a few options to start with, and basically um, we started this process with four primary things. It was cost, quality, uh, aesthetics, and maintenance free. We got the opportunity to use the Ready Rock uh, ledge stone. We absolutely love it. Uh, it's a great quality product and we've, been, we've had nothing but great success. The main concerns here were that one, we had to stay out of the stream channel. We knew that there were, this was a permitted stream, had, had to stay out of it. Uh, we also knew that the people that owned the houses here had yards, had playground equipments in their yard, had trees that we didn't want to impact. Uh, and so the ability to construct this wall without the geogrid was very important. Uh, I know that a few of the residents enjoyed that they used to have some fish in here and they had ducks and geese that would live in here. And, and uh, you know, in order to be able to maintain that channel and, and not uh, have equipment running all over in the channel uh, was, was good. The, the, the stream came back to life very quickly after the project. I think it's beautiful. I've taken a lot of pictures of it and send people. I mean, when they said put up a cement or a wall, I thought, oh, God, but this is beautiful. I mean, the way the blocks are. And I just love, we come down here and just look. You know, it's a beautiful wall. Beautiful. We're dealing with taxpayers' money and we want to make sure that we treat every project like it's in our own backyards. And even though this is not in our backyards, it is in the backyards of residents' homes. And it's very important that uh, we treat it that way. It's fiscally responsible uh, as well as having an aesthetically uh, pleasing product. Oh, I think it looks lovely. It's, it's, it's turned out better than I thought it would look. And we've gotten a lot of compliments on it. And we have a lot of people stop and look at it. And, tell us how nice it looks. So yeah, I'm proud of them, the, the job they did with it. And this, the city has, uh, likes to stay kind of in the natural stone colors around here, which are kind of the browns and tans. And uh, this, this color combination that we came up with this wall uh, turned out really well. It's, it's kind of a, a neutral tone. I think it's gonna weather well. It, when it gets dirty, it doesn't look dirty because it's already got kind of the natural color to it. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think the color and the face are a great combination. I love this wall. No, I'm really serious. I do, I mean, look at it, it's beautiful. You know, it's something you don't mind coming out and staring at. Don't you think so?